Hi, it's Kara of the Bewitched Housewife, and I am filming this video in my minivan uh, today. I like to call it the Manifestation Mobile, but it mostly has been manifesting lots of snacks in the back. Yeah, I gotta clean it again. And I was thinking about a few of the things that I have um, come to terms with more in the past week or so. I realize I take everything with me. I often joke that it must be like my Native American ancestry, which requires me to take everything I could possibly need in three hours with me. And I overpack. And you know, it's a good thing to be prepared, but at the same time, it leaves you more insecure if you are way too prepared. It takes away your spontaneity. So I am challenging myself to make it down to one diaper bag and one purse, but you'll be amazed at how much I can stuff in one. Like 30 pounds in each bag is just perfect, right? So I will follow the example of the tortoise I saw yesterday and realize that I can't take it all with me and trust that some things will be provided by the universe when I need it. So, I will simplify, simplify, simplify. The second thing I have been thinking about is um, just how a lot of issues in the world and in our lives are actually caused because we don't love ourselves enough. Because we have been told or taught that it is more valuable to um, love other things or other deities or love other people and to put ourselves last and I know that there's a lot of self-centered people out there but in another way there's a lot of martyrs out there and I realize that I can get into that martyr personality myself where it is just constantly everybody can go before me everything everyone you know make sure everyone's happy before I even settle down and I have realized something that we don't have to treat other people better than us we don't have to treat ourselves better than other people but we all would benefit from just elevating the love elevating the unity elevating the acceptance to not just the people who take it and claim it out there in the world but also ourselves. So if you treat yourself like really crappy, and I understand that completely, just start treating yourself like you are a house guest at your own home, and hopefully you don't yell and scream and pick at the house guests. So give yourself more love. I know that popular doctrines have always said, don't love yourself, love everybody else, love every other deity, and maybe someday, Maybe, you know, if you're not, you know, stuck in all that guilt and shame, maybe you could love yourself just a tiny bit. That is backwards to me. Anyway, I think I hear my son waking up. I've probably bitched too long.